Hello everyone, this is Rare Mod Reviews here, and today we have an unboxing of one of the newest and probably greatest real crates ever released. And that of course would be the God, aka Burning Gundam. <laughs> Actually, I really like that's his dumb one's name, man. I didn't expect to see that, but okay. Um so just a little look at the little English uh text here. I just really like that. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe because I can read it, so it makes me happy. I don't know why. I, mean, I just really love the, the Bandai Napco logo and then, like the little blue logo there. I don't know. Just these new Bandai boxes just look really uh, <laughs> cool. So, of course, we're gonna fish this thing out of the box here, and we're going to show around the side of the box here. <laughs> the real mobile fighter experience. That's a nice detail there. What do we have here? That's just really cool. Like this thing is just like packed with freaking um, ridiculous articulation here. And there's just like a lot of poses from the show you can do like effortlessly. And just look at that right there. Like, come on, you can't argue with that. And then this thing is like not only splits, but like, ugh. like as soon as I seen the image of this thing when it was coming out, I knew like, oh yeah, this is gonna be something special. And then it even comes with little rings there too for the um hyper mode like this thing is just like gonna be really awesome like um i know the high grade that they released uh, a few years back whatever was amazing but as soon as i seen this one i'm like i kind of wanted to hold out to get the master grade whenever i seen that somewhere but i'm like you know what screw it i could make an exception just get the real crate <laughs> Who knows, maybe I might end up getting the gold version, the Master Grade to kind of justify it. This is like an interesting one because both the Master Grade and the um, Real Grade are both amazing. Master Grade is a little older, but still regarded as one of the best kits out there. And in my opinion, at least the turning point of uh, Gunpla, the Master Grade uh, God Gundam was like the thing that kind of started making massacres actually good, not kind of crappy. <laughs> um, or at least, um, what's the word I want to say? 50-50. Uh, also, I really love the way those are molded. Those uh, rings are amazing. But then we have the uh, hands here. The, I don't know what you'd call these. The god hands? <laughs> now, these aren't as... um. I thought they're kind of more, I don't know, holographic -y, but they just kind of look like really just orange uh, hands, really. That's the best I can really describe them. I'm guessing this is going to be for the chest, a little metallic green part. I was expecting that one to be clear, but it's like a metallic green. And these are like just kind of off a white grayish color. I wonder what those are going to be for. I'm guessing these are for the wings. I guess you kind of like it, though. It actually kind of looks better like that instead of just gray. And then these are like this mustard yellow type color that looks like it's going to be mostly for the uh, blue friends. I'm not sure what else. So straight off the bat, this thing doesn't have very many plates. It at least it doesn't look like it. Maybe it's because everything's kind of small, but I don't know. What is this like? This is like six bags, I think this is. Roughly about two, if not three each. Give you an idea of how quick this thing probably would be to build, so let's see. You now, while I'm opening this thing, I just want to have a full disclaimer. I'm trying to be more responsible and actually build all the uh, other th things I have ahead of this guy. However, um, I do have something really special planned for this kit when I get around to reviewing it, which honestly probably won't be until like next year. So, trust me, when you finally do see a review up for this guy, it's definitely going to be worth the wait. I think I'm gonna do do that special thing for this uh kit. I might maybe review this thing first and then do that after. Let's see. 
of course, here we have um, some details on the uh, God Gundam here. The King of Hearts was inherited by a fairy, fiery fighter. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, wow. They have, like, is this what I'm doing now these days? They're going to make the parts they're building in color now for this little picture? That's pretty cool. Just when you think they couldn't make these manuals any better, they just <laughs> always somehow managed to top it. And then lots of undergating and the uh, parts that matter most. That's one of the most interesting things about the real glories to me, the fact that you have to kind of move the parts a little, like loosen them up and whatnot, and like instruction to do it. That's weird. See, these ones don't like their color. Why was the feet in color? It was like red. <laughs> I guess they really were probably those uh, legs or something. It was only that one thing there that was. Everything else wasn't. Yes, I just can't wait to build this thing. As you guys can see, I'm starting to get back in our uh, real grids. I mean, I, I kind of never really was. I only bought one, <laughs> the very first one I put out, but. I mean, they keep making things this irresistible. <laughs> it's going to be hard for me to pass up. Like, I can already tell you guys, if they make a real grade Master Gundam, which, let's be honest, they probably will, I might have to buy it. Maybe a Shining Gundam, too, but we'll see. So this is weird. It's just they're kind of pick and choose on what the heck they want to <laughs> um, do here. I always forget, is the energy multiplier gate this, the ranks, or is it that? So this thing looks like a core lander can transform. Cool that it was always strange in this one, just because the fact it has the wings, like... <laughs> is it basically just like a core fighter at that point? Because this thing looks like it could probably fly. Okay, I'm gonna tell you to put the core lander here on the action base. Yeah, I actually didn't think about that, uh, putting this thing on the action base. That, that looks pretty cool. And I love the fact that the wings can go back like that. That actually looks really cool. So usually they um, don't move there, so. And then, of course, telling you how to put this thing in the hyper mode, doing the uh, god hand, god finger. That's interesting. Is this like the same hand but mode in black, or is this one just like a more, you know, open hand? Whereas this one, you know, is doing the action god thing. Then yeah, doing the second god thing. Okay, looks like. So then you had to put these rings on there. Which again, I just that's probably one of the things that really made me say, all right, I have to get this. The fact that it actually came with the little rings there. It's a little hard to deny something like that. Because, like, I remember when the uh, Master Grade Turn A Gundam came out, it didn't have the Moonlight Butterfly effect. That kind of was, like, a bit of a turn-off for me. Especially since there's things on it talking about, you know, oh, he has all these things here where you can see where the nano machines come out from the Moonlight Butterfly. But, like, it didn't actually have the Moonlight Butterfly effect to it. So, of course, we have all the places we could put the billion decals in these things. For some reason, the real grids have as much decals as I... Kato Kiket. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Um, I don't know if there's really much else for me to say besides I can't wait to build this thing. And it's going to be awesome. I already know it. <laughs> but, um, uh, I'm going to end up getting another review out uh, sometime this week. And, um, I was about to say. I was going to say that I forgot, but uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just leave out the closing thoughts here. You know, this is a uh, rare amount of views, of course. You know who I am, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I pretty much I remember what I was going to say, but eh, I guess tune in for the next review since I'm like super forgetful and uh, don't know what my closing thoughts was actually going to be. <laughs> so take care.